Hello everyone, this is eShadow here, and welcome back to the Dragon Orbit server. Well, uh, this has actually been quite a long time since uh, we've been here. Uh, and I do wish to apologize to you guys for that one. Uh, I've been having a little bit of an issue with my Crack Pack um, program. Uh, it seems to be a problem with the mod packs. It's been causing me a lot of issues lately. I've been actually meaning to record stuff for quite a while now, and even quite a few of the guys have been meaning to get uh, a lot of recording done, but unfortunately, it just hasn't worked out for us. Uh, we've tried and tried and tried, and for some reason, my, um, my Java continues to crash. Uh, I think it's like a weird bug i've been hearing about it a fair bit where nvidia drivers seem to cause a weird crash or a weird error and it instantaneously causes java to crash i don't know why that is it just seems to be happening but i don't like it and i'm hoping that i can get it fixed sometime soon thing is i can never really tell if it is fixed for the simple fact that it seems to happen randomly uh, I'll be able to play for a good little while, uh, run around, get things done, and just at some random point, uh, it will just crash. No idea why, it just happens. So, um, I didn't really have much of an episode planned for today. I figured I'd pop on and just, you know, kind of show you around things that I was trying to work on, at least in the during the intermittent crashes. So I guess we can show you that. Um, I tried to decorate up this place a little bit more just because there were a lot of holes in the walls covered over with these stone plates because these chiseled stone do not cut. Uh, covered up a little thing in here because um, I actually have a bucket filling system going on. Oh yes, I also did this, which is a slag production system. Uh, pretty much all that goes on is I drop in uh, stuff into there, which goes into there. Uh, well, I should probably be a bit more specific. Um, I was looking for methods to produce um, goddamn food uh, to produce clay without having to go and look for it, because uh, I wanted to make us like a redundancy. Uh, energy system and the only way I could think of that that was relatively efficient and would backlog some energy would be um, to use solar flux solar panels fortunately um, individual panels on their own don't really uh, give that much power um, yeah, they don't offer too much power for, like, the low-tier ones. And uh, it's very expensive to get to the higher tiers of stuff. Um, so, I decided, uh, instead of just plugging in 65 million small solar panels, I would just go straight for the higher tiers, cut out the time, and just go straight to there. I don't know why I didn't just use the controller. Um, but in order to make some of the higher tiers, you need clay, or balls of clay. So, uh, I went looking through the NEI to try and find methods of producing clay, uh, and one way is to use slag. Now, the only way you usually get slag is by processing ores by grinding them into dust, and then using a slag furnace to resmelt them back into the... Uh, or, and then you get slag as a byproduct. Um, oh yeah, I know what's going on there. It's the sand. Um, no, it's sandstone. Sand. Uh, I'm very low on sand. So it happens to be uh, gravel. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's another thing I'll back. Oh, 
sorry, <laughs> I forgot I had my maggot on. I didn't need to throw that. So, um, pulverizer. Good. Um, pretty much the only method that I know of, uh, is basically using slag. Uh, you combine it with sand in the induction smelter, which helps you multiply the ores. But because I'm using uh, Byroxy's dust, um, I found a way to kind of cheat it. Because we have so much Byroxy's in the uh, ME system, I have it pump into the pulverizer. It turns into dust. It then pumps out of the pulverizer into the induction smelter uh, with some sand that's supposed to be coming in this way. Um, unfortunately, I don't know a way to just turn this to solid green. I've tried my best. So that goes in with sand, which re-smelts it, turns it back into uh, its ingot format, which gets pumped out. Uh, and then every once in a while, it'll produce a slag. And then I combine the slag with dirt and buckets of water, and that makes me uh, clay. So I ended up making... Um, uh, I was working up. I think I ended up making some tier fives, I think. Let's see. Uh, nope, not in there. Sorry, I'm still I'm getting used to my new equipment. I went out and recently bought myself a new keyboard and mouse. And it's, oh, they're, <laughs> they're already in my inventory. Um. So yeah, I made uh, up to solar, the solar panel fives, which gives me 16 mil, which has a 16 million capacity, which is pretty good. The only problem is I don't really know of a way that I can, um, I'm trying to figure out how I can use them as a redundancy system. So I'm going to work on that when I can. Hopefully the, um, the server will allow me oh yes and also on the server note end um we are actually going we're we're content considering a few things uh in amongst our group and there will be some big changes probably going on very soon i don't want to spoil anything but uh we'll see what happens very soon um, not going to spoil anything for you guys, but there are big plans in the works for this server and this series. That had to uh, cough for a moment. So yeah, um, that gives you a general idea of what we were, we've been working on. Um, oh yeah, I... I did a little bit of an upgrade of this thing off camera. Um, it does work a lot faster now, as you can see. I replaced all the um, the old auto crafting benches, added in these, and I also added a. If you can see down there, I added a massive stone production system. Again, the system doesn't really do much for us. It's pretty much just a uh, fun way of compressing stuff and helping Mr. Izzy and Mr. Bill complete their uh, crafting desires and hopes that we're continuing on for their Agrarian Sky series. So yeah, that was more of like a little thing for them. Um, otherwise, not much else has been going on. Um, I, yeah, this was here before. Uh, I bumped up the tower. Oh yeah, and we also built this thing. Uh, this is a portal frame from, um, I think it's a mining dimension, so you can actually walk through here. Yeah, there we go. Walk and crouch step through here. And it basically gives you a flat world that you can actually come in and drop a quarry down on, and that way you can mine materials and ores, and not actually have to worry about uh, ruining the aesthetic or look of your own world. So yeah, this is kind of what we ended up doing. It was just a little bit of a fun project that I thought we'd experiment with. I'm pretty sure I dug this hole, actually. Yeah, I kind of dug this hole.
Come on, none of this. I have wings. I don't need no jet, damn jetpack. So it's very useful to have it, especially when going to Elder's Dimensions. So. Yeah, that was just something we did off camera after the last, um, big session. Um, what else has I been doing? Oh yeah, I did a little bit of a, at least a partial finished job to the old, uh, space station. Uh, it's nothing, like, special, but I remember that I worked on it forever ago. I at least wanted to put a roof on it because it looked really terrible. Just saw all the trimming and all the crap, and yeah. Couldn't leave that like that. Even though in here it's not all that fancy. It's just a NASA workbench. And a uh, door, which I've used a grand total of, like, one time. Right, now we can count that as a second. Got our, all of our launch pads, our portal to the moon, and our portal to Mars. Uh, haven't really done anything else uh, much around, haven't really done much else around here. Oh yeah, I tried some really silly thing. Um, I was trying to figure out if there would be ways to uh, improve the frame rates on the server, and uh, my thought process was maybe, maybe having all these like giant empty spaces might be causing a lot of lag so I had this like absurd idea to try and fill this entire quarry with gravel which as you can see didn't get very far I was also using it as time to experiment with my uh, AT launcher to see if it was going to crash again which at this point it has not I'm hoping the problem has been resolved uh, NVIDIA has a new drivers out, so here's hoping. But uh, other than that, not much else has really happened in here. Uh, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, oh yeah, that. Uh, I'm not going to show you what's behind that. That's a secret little project. I did a secret. And uh, you guys will find out about that later, depending on uh, what will be happening with our series. And, yeah, not much else has been going on. Uh, the giant sphere house of mine is pretty much the same. Um, we're having a bit of an energy issue with the reactor, as I was saying, which is why I was making the solar flux things. It's consuming way more fuel than it used to. And our um, method of creating basically free energy forever is no longer working. Uh, it just overwhelms it and consumes way more energy. Um, oh yes, Izzy, I believe, finished McDankey's. At least the design on the outside. I think he was still working on the actual processes of it. But uh, I won't go into too much detail on that. I'm guessing these are going to be like, what, cashier things? There'll maybe be screens there and we'll be like, uh, I want uh, I want a fries and I want a burger and I want this and I want this. I'm guessing that's probably what's gonna happen. But yep, all of his crazy building materials. Uh, it does kind of look like a rest like a McDonald's restaurant. Hmm. I should probably put like um. Oh, what are they? Um. Like a panel or something up there, like a white panel with maybe a frame. And then it looks like the big, uh, oh, the uh, digital displays that they have now uh, in, like, all the McDonald's and stuff. All the big TV screens showing all the succulent food that's probably going to kill you in less than 10 years. But, oh, well. Uh, Gapwin uh, has not been on the server since we went to Mars, and I don't know if he has much intention on finishing a lot of this stuff. He seems to be quite busy with his own series. Um, I don't know if Bill or Izzy or Zatos have been on at all. Um, server's been fairly quiet, fairly dead. So I'm hoping that the guys will possibly be interested in getting back into things. There's the infamous octuple compressed cobblestone that was finally made. And yeah, that's about it so far. Um, as I said, well, I'm going to try and see if I can get the guys into doing some more stuff. Hopefully my 
Minecraft is back in working order. Which I still find very weird, because vanilla Minecraft is actually fine. I can play for hours and hours and hours and hours on that, and Java will never crash, but something with the mod packs just seems to not agree with it. I'm guessing that's a weird chunk load issue. Yeah. So is he go digging another giant hole? Probably. He always does crazy things. But anyway, um... <laughs> oh yeah, my diamond shard production facility. Stick a couple diamonds in there and some TNT and you're all good. But yeah, uh, I guess that's it for now. And uh, sorry this wasn't really like a full, very interesting episode. But you know, I can only really offer so much on my own. But I guess for now everyone, this will be, uh, be it. I want to thank you all for joining me, and uh, hopefully we'll all be back once again uh, to go on chaotic and mayhem-inducing adventures with everyone else here on the Dragon Orbit server. So until over there, until then, everyone, thank you all for watching. This has been E Shadow here, once again on the Dragon Orbit server. Hope you're all enjoying watching, and until next time, everyone, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and post just for future games. Go check out all of my co-commentators here, Bill, Izzy, Zados, and Gekwin. And until next time, everyone, we will see you soon.